going on? It's your man Head Cracker here. Some of the things that are popping off right now in the hip hop spot. Snoop Dogg is barking back at the Oscars. Now, for everybody who doesn't know what's going on, the Oscars is mad white this year. Just like if they, they've been in previous years. Like, you know, the black man never really got a fair shake at the Oscars. I mean, yeah, we got a couple trophies here and there. Halle Berry got an Oscar for getting smutted out by Bully Bob Thornton. Denzel Washington got an Oscar for playing a crooked cop. Uh, let's see, uh, people give me getting Oscars for playing slaves. So, you know, so I can understand why everybody's mad and frustrated. But a lot of people want Chris Rock to step down and not host the Oscars. If there's one man that can go in front of all those people and really set the record straight and hold that mirror to the face and tell them what's really going down, it's Chris Rock. I think they should let that man do it and get that money. Steal from the system to give back to the system you care about. But anyway, here's what Snoop Dogg had to say. Good morning. So I wake up to a bunch of messages from, you know, publishers and shit saying, Snoop, you ought to apologize and, you know, take back what you said. So I guess this is the day where the comes and says, I'm so wrong for what I... Man, f You know, that was Snoop Dogg who said that. That wasn't Snoop Lion. Snoop Lion's about peace. That was actually Snoop Dogg. Like the way that's going down. Thanks for speaking out, Big Snoop. Uh, let's talk about other things that's going on in hip-hop news. Meek Mill. Got shout-out to that brother. Now, I know he had a rough weekend. 50 Cent was giving it to him long and greasy on the internet, but he's giving back to the community, man. He actually donated 60,000 bottles of water to the city of Flint, Michigan. And for those who don't know what's going on in Flint, Michigan right now, it's mostly us out there. And they don't really care about the quality of the water, man. People turning their water on, it's coming out brown. People are getting sick. It's not good. So what Meek Mill is doing, he's got with other people, and they're donating water to the city of Michigan. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show actually got some initiatives that we got on and popping that we're going to send water out there as well. So shout out to you, Meek Mill. He's also doing speaking engagements in Philly and like and empowering the youth and all types of other cool stuff that you do right before you go to court so you can make it look like you're doing cool stuff. I see what you're doing there, Playboy. Another person who's in trouble, man, rapper most deaf. Some people know him from rapping, other people know him from movies. He also changed his name last couple years to Yasin Bey. But here's what's going on. He went to Africa, right? Because uh, he doesn't really live in America anymore. He travels around. So he took him and his family out there to Cape Town. So as he was, uh, you know, trying to leave, they tried to arrest him because they said he had false documents. What he's traveling with is a thing called a world passport, which, you know, it's, it's acceptable in a lot of countries. And you can use that to move around. And they're saying he falsified his documents and, like, he should have been using a United States passport. But most deaths are argument is, I'm not an American anymore. I don't live in America, so I'm using my world passport. He feels like there's some political motives to keeping him there, and he's uh, spoke about it on Kanye West's website. Here's some of the things he had to say. Related, but not directly related to this, I'm a child from the music recording industry, and it is currently assembled today, and also from Hollywood, effective immediately. I was releasing my final album this year. Um, and that's that. Peace to all, fear of none. Thank everyone for their time. Much success to you, even if you wish me the opposite, as Nas said. And I'm on the side of the right, so people can wish however they want. Um, but I ain't nobody's, I ain't no threat or a uh, hazard to nobody. I really try to mind my business. Now, after all that injustice that he just talked about, people are mostly mad about the fact he said he's retiring from music and television when this whole thing blows over. So, ah oh man, hang in there, Yasin, or Most Def, or Dante, whatever you're going by this year. I love you and respect you regardless, man. Last little thing I got for you is this. DJ Khaled. Is he the best? At least he was yesterday. He went and spoke to the kids at Carroll City, Mu uh, Carroll City, Mu uh, Carroll City Middle School in Florida, and uh, they actually named yesterday DJ Khaled Day. So, even if you're not the best, the other 364 days of the year, there is one day out of the year that you are the best, DJ Khaled. Shout out to you and all the hard work you're doing. For this and other stories I'm following, you can either come back here tomorrow and see what I talk about, or you can go to my blog. It's crackblog.com. K-R-A-C-K-B-L-O-G. Got tons of interviews and a bunch of other things that I like. How about that? See you later. That's the hip-hop spot. Don't do drugs in front of people.